Okay, first uh, let me give the brief background about uh, why we are doing and what we are doing. Uh, so this is, as you are aware, that this is part of our ESG vision. We started. Uh, the project got approved in October 2020, and we went live with the platform in March 2021, with the ambitious goal of helping about 10 million students by 2025. And we are now almost uh, one and a half years into the program after going live. We are very happy to share that more than 3.2 million students have come in and more than 1 million <coughs> students are uh, coming regularly to study. And most, uh, as of now, if you look at the demography of the learners, uh, 70 to 75 percent are college students. It has a good mixture. We have engineering, polytechnic, BA, BSc, BCom, so good variety is there. And I'm going to briefly share what each of them, whether they are polytechnic today, I know the focus of your department is polytechnic. I will have to mute. Okay, so, yeah, let me continue. So, uh, I, today I am also going to share more details about how this is, uh, how we have designed for polytechnics and engineering colleges so that you can take it forward in your uh, hierarchy and in your uh, colleges. So here is uh, why, means I have titled this presentation as Igniting the Aspiration because one is, uh, yeah, we have more than 12,000 courses on the platform as of today and we will keep enhancing refreshing the content based on the need and based on the demand so that we don't want to overwhelm the what is available and what is required because already most of the colleges already have as one, one source or other curriculum. So what we are, we, how we are positioning it is this, uh, most of these 12,000 courses are in the 21st century digital skills. So obviously we are not, we may not be catering directly to the, uh, let's say, non-computer science branches, be it uh, civil or uh, instrumentation, etc. Whereas, I will also share how each, whether they are technical, non-technical, how they can benefit out of these 12,000 courses available. And 6,000 of these, 50% of these are in professional skills or soft skills. That means, technically, anybody and everybody can make best use of those 6,000 courses because they are in I mean, any human being who needs uh, to work any profession for that matter, for example, be it business communication, be it how do you shape your personality, uh, the psychological well-being, physical well-being. So a lot of such courses are also there which will help and a lot of hobbies which they can pursue and how they can learn in community. So a lot of things I am going to share. So why we position as igniting the aspiration is? Today, when we keep meeting the college students, because we have been in this business for last more than 40 years now, and we are also one of the mass recruiters. That means we go and do campus recruitment from both tier 1, tier 2, tier 3 colleges as well. And as part of our CSR, I have been personally involved over the last four, uh, 15 years in going to the schools and colleges, uh, polytechnics or ITIs, engineering colleges. So. In our experience, so what is stopping an individual from learning what they want to learn is their aspiration. As long as we are able to uh, basically motivate them or ignite their aspiration, they are able to, irrespective of their financial situation, irrespective of whether they have ex good infrastructure or not, somehow they will make it happen. So that's what, that's why aptly we have uh, titled this presentation as igniting the aspiration. So now, in addition to igniting the aspiration, how we will show them a, a, a nice curated path which is aligned to their curriculum as well as it will help in shaping their career, be it they want to join as an uh, employee or they want to be an entrepreneur themselves, how they can benefit from the offerings available on the platform. That's what I'm going to share. So here is normal, any uh, average uh, student, if they are not motivated, this is what we have seen. They, they will have typical challenges like uh, the lack of communication skills. Not that they cannot communicate. The problem is because of the either low self-esteem or low self-confidence, what will happen is they won't open up. So I won't dwell too much into this. I will briefly touch upon so that uh, I will share what courses we have designed 
to actually cater to such people because not that they, they have become what why they have become we cannot question about that now that we have these students what do we do about them how do we encourage each one of them whether they are in the first bench or last bench or they are forerunners or laggers how do we help each one of them that's what i'm going to present in the uh, uh, in the next uh, few minutes then awareness of opportunities is another challenge which we have seen especially in tier 2 tier 3 cities or the remote states so we, we, when we see some of the states doing very well where some of the states are not really doing that well is being aware of the opportunities again the, i will also share how we are planning and how we have made what opportunities are available to individual students uh, or faculty or the heads of the colleges how how we are going to open up various opportunities i'm going to walk you through learning on own and access to mentor so yes there is as part of the curriculum they are going to learn in, in the college and there is a big uh, the basic chunk of learning which will happen when they can do it on their own if they are motivated because yes in 24 hours probably 6 to 7 hours or maximum 8 to 9 hours they might spend in the college so rest of the time they'll be on their own especially in the weekends so if they are motivated if they are guided properly if there is a mentor with whom they can speak to i am sure they would love each one of them whether boy or a girl or a professor or a faculty they would like to better their life and career so this is what we are going to make it make it available open it, open the opportunities for them then aspiration is a big thing then access to innovation hubs and makers lab we are also setting up makers lab as of now to begin with in phase 1 we will set it up in uh, uh, in in uh, 12 states where we are present i think even in assam there is there is a plan which we are pursuing which is under progress now where we have requested for permission to set up makers lab uh, and, uh, and i think also with honorable minister we discussed uh, that uh, they will set it up and we will provide the equipment and guidance so that uh, the your students can have experiential learning so this is what will happen once we provide the various opportunities to discover self and go to the next level they will be self motivated they will be excited you can see the the one second if you want you can unmute and speak i saw your message sure sure dr pranjal i will i will share the recording okay so uh, then uh, access to relevant content and a learning ecosystem is important then uh, uh, that's what we are going to ma made it available then hands on learning is 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 important through whether it's maker lab or through the playground then engaging with cohorts or industry mentors is what we are also making it possible because we are uh, in another two weeks we are going to announce that uh, internship will be made available Uh, democratically means all your students as soon as they register they will also get to see the announcement and uh, i encourage your students whether they are new or old or alumni it doesn't matter let them give a try let them uh, try and get an opportunity to see how the ecosystem is progressing means how they make use of the opportunities put forward to this time we are planning to open it up to about 500 students yes of course there will be a short listing process at least now your students will also get to know what opportunities are available we are also planning to set aside some slots for the government college especially where the entities like yours where we are uh, directly be bringing bulk of the government college students so they also get an opportunity to compete with the other colleges and other states who are doing very well so we will set aside some slots however again uh, we will leave it to you how do you shortlist and bring them uh, whether top 10 or top 20 so uh, we will uh, we will depend on you to shortlist and sh share the list with them uh, so we will share the shortlisting process and uh, what is that due diligence which you can do so then of course capstone projects are available on the platform which they can do on on their on their convenience so uh, any questions uh, till now ma'am now i will uh, walk uh, go to the platform uh you were telling about capstone projects so these are almost like uh, final semester projects i think uh, we can collaborate on those i mean the polytechnics 
Sure, uh, sure, madam. Students can do as the final year project. They can have a look at. Yes, in. yes. In fact, even the internship projects which we have opened up, for example, last year what we had done, we have closed about hundred projects, which your students can pick it up and do it. So there is no issue. And as part of each course, with they do, whether Python, Java, full stack, big data, or data analytics, every course has a capstone project associated with that. So they can pick that up and they can do it as part of their project as well. Any other questions, madam? Uh, no, you can carry on. Okay, okay. Yeah, now let me uh, get uh, switch over to the platform. Let me bring the. Okay, so this is our uh, platform where uh, you, you have the URL, otherwise uh, Nandini or Judy can put it in the uh, chat box. So this doesn't need any installation if you are using Chrome or uh, desktop computers. You can just access through this uh, URL in feespringboard.onexpand.com, this first portion, this is good enough. And we already support uh, 18 major Indian languages. So, uh, Assamese might not be there, probably, yeah, it is there, good to see, Assam is also there. I hope, uh, anyway, I cannot read Assamese, uh, Indrani ma'am, if you can make sense out of it, uh, so your students. Yes, I can see it is there. Okay, okay. So, like this, if your students feel uh, Assamese is uh, preferable, they can access. Means all the interface will switch to Assamese. However, the content is, will still be in English. Unless, uh, if you want to author, we will give that opportunity. So that uh, uh, your students should be able to... Uh, which one is English in this? Now I cannot read English. Is this this one? Oh, okay, this one. Yeah. So, so that uh, if... Uh, if you want to author the content uh, in uh, Assamese, uh, you are more than welcome uh, because our platform supports 64 languages of the world. So you can author in any of these languages. So however, uh, yes, good, good that it's already available. And this will definitely will be helpful when we go to the primary and secondary education as well because where bulk of the education happens in the local language. So anyway, you are aware uh, that anyway, we will be doing bulk registration of your students. That means if they use Google authentication, then they can just press the Google if they have Gmail. Otherwise, whatever email ID you are going to share that we are going to register the email, their ID with their email and give the password, which they can change at the first time login. They will be forced to change. Then onwards, only each learner will have access to their account, nobody else. Even we will not know the password, so they can set and uh, and also system prompts them uh, to change the password uh, uh, means at regular intervals so that there is no misuse or uh, nobody else can log in using their credentials so that we make it make uh, ensure that. And here what you see is uh, the common landing page, common home page which all the learners will, will also see whether they are learners or educators everybody will have the common page. However, this is uh, the difference between an educator like, uh, uh, for example, you will have access to the telemetry, the learning history of your students of uh, Assam state. So being in the uh, entity DCT, so you will have access to entire Assam state, uh, uh, the learning data. I will, in a, I will also demonstrate how other states who have come in already have, are, are accessing their students data by respective district, respective college. Okay, there's a good drill down option which will get very good visibility to uh, uh, you, you, your team. Then on the top what you see is uh, the announcements. For example, uh, now as you can see we have recently launched the content for uh, primary uh, 6 standard to 10 standard. That's what we had announced. Then we also have 
an excellent platform for learning 60 programming languages. That means they can choose whichever, even if it is not part of the curriculum, if they are curious, they can go and there is no uh, admission cost or there is no registration involved, they can go and check it out. If they are curious about some new, new programming languages, they can do that. Then, uh, of course, uh, this is for preparing their future. There is a learning, uh, uh, curated learning courses where they, they can, for the industry readiness path, we have curated both for uh, IT and non-IT, both technical engineering and uh, uh, government colleges. So both we have given separately. I will walk you through the same. The next one is choice-based credit courses. These are, again, new age. Uh, technologies, be it artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, blockchain, all these things are offered as if they are expert sessions, they are neatly organized and your students can go through it to six weeks or eight weeks courses. At the end of the course, they can also do Infosys uh, certified certifications so that this will also help them to improve their employable, employability chances, employable skills. Very soon, we are also going to open up the job openings in India. That means a system will automatically pro uh, short list the list of job openings based on their skills. So that's another advantage. It's so that you need, your student need not have to keep trying in all. They, they can only basically it will be shortlisted and shown to them. So that's the advantage. Then of course industry ready courses. Now industries including Infosys, we don't recruit based on the what percentage they score or what degree they have. It is even now we started hiring diploma students. So, and the numbers are also quite huge. For example, next one year we are going to hire about close to about 50,000 engineers. Then they, they can start learning from semester one itself. That's what we have, we have provided. That means once you click here, it opens up another channel page where they will get to see what are the foundation roles. For example, even if they want to learn programming, let me go there. So, for example, Java and Python are most uh, common and popular as of now. Not that only Java and Python, uh, we are just using this as the sample. If they want to learn Java, then we offer the Java courses directly here. They need not have to search. They need not have to worry about 12,000 courses. They can come navigate directly here in th third click, they can land up here. Or if they make this channel as favorite, it will be on their home page itself. So on single click, they can come here. So like this, they can learn all the courses, whether Java or Python. And even when they learn, they will learn to prepare for a role like Angular developer, Angular associate like that, because it also involves a combination of a programming skill. For example, if I want to pursue Java, after I finish learning Java, I need to pick up some database learning skills as well. And in database today, both SQL and non-SQL is, is also mandatory. So that's what we have made available here. Both uh, RDBMS and uh, NoSQL databases are available. And as you can see, there are only three shortlisted courses we have, uh, we are actually uh, recommending so that they need not have to get overwhelmed. So even if they are in first semester, they can start. For example, each semester they can do one. So they, they, it won't get overloaded and it, they can do uh, since you are the decision making authority, you can check with your uh, management. If any of these are part of uh, the curriculum itself, then it will also help both their job readiness as well as they will also get credit. In uh, just uh, in a minute, uh, in a while, I will share what uh, Karnataka DCT is doing for polytechnic students here. How they have chosen some of these courses as part of the curriculum itself, I am going to share that. Then in addition to learning, first is programming, next is database, third part is they also need to know the software engineering. This is the process side. So agile is, is the way in which we do the software development. So and software engineering is whether it's a quality control, what documentation we need and in, what is the whether it's a waterfall or agile. So all those things they need to learn. Again, we have given two more courses in that. Then professional skills is where it gets very interesting. And these professional skills can be taken by anybody. It not necessarily computer science students. So anybody can learn and uh, including teachers, faculty, and it is very useful. For example, basic business communication skill, what you're seeing. And uh, as you can see, we have as very, very small course, like 45 minutes course, 
to even uh, the design thinking it will go up to 3 hours even in design thinking there are various levels this is just the entry level with within 3 hours you will get to understand uh, the the what is design thinking how it is useful who who can benefit interestingly again design thinking is beneficial to each and every body whether they are engineering non engineering so very interesting course and design thinking will be very impactful if it is done in a classroom setting where they are present in person however during pandemic we also experimented where doing this remotely as well with uh, the breakout rooms with the groups uh, doing and collaborating remotely so it is equally effective and interestingly more and more even high schools have started adopting design thinking early uh, because it is no longer uh, uh, the only professionals who are learning so that now definitely your uh, uh, polytechnic both students and faculty will greatly benefit from these design thinking courses then of course email etiquette business writing so all these things are also shortlisted again about six courses are shortlisted under professional skills then finally it, it ends with uh, uh, java and python one of them they can pursue depending on what they are doing and and, and also we have seen quite often uh, uh, most of them even they try and do both because then they will improve their uh, job uh, readiness or employability uh, opportunities so this is how the basic uh, uh, basically structure of a, co a, a micro site of a curated learning path will look like. So now before I uh, now walk you through how a polytechnic micro site will look like. Uh, do you have any questions madam? You will be giving some credits which can be incorporated in their grade sheet. Uh, since we are a private entity we can even though we would love to give credit we can only provide the platform and certification for example now this infosys certification and we know what what does it take for a ugc uh, nsqf uh, level 4 so national skill qualification framework level 4 so we will work with you basically it is uh, you have you will have to work with uh, sector councils uh, uh, that uh, they, because they are the authority who will give approval to a university because they will not give, uh, uh, they will not let a private entity offer credit. It is the university who will offer the credit. So now you will have to work with respective universities in Assam. But we will be very happy to work with, be it NASCOM or any other uh, AICT, etc. Because this is already approved by AICT as far as the content is concerned. Whereas the credits has to be offered by respective universities. Already autonomous universities have started doing it. Now, with, uh, with even in Karnataka, all the 24 universities, we just did one uh, conclave just two weeks ago in our Infosys Mysore campus with Honorable Minister. So now Karnataka, all the universities are going to offer credits for go doing course uh, learning on the, plat on the platform and quite a few of them already have started using this as electives. Actually, we have this professional skill, one subject in polytechnics. And we don't have uh, trained staff to take that subject. So I was thinking like if you have these professional skills and they get certified through you, then maybe we can, after the certification, we can give them some credit. Yes, yes. That, that's how all the universities are working now. So yeah, that's a good model. And we will share what we are doing with uh, large universities. For example, Jawaharlal Nehru Technology University in Kakinada. They have 250 colleges under just one university and they have taken en masse all the courses from Springboard and we have mapped to their curriculum and we are helping them even in their faculty enablement program. So like that we will work with your department even in the faculty enablement program. Okay, okay so, so that, that will be great. Be great. So uh, whenever, whenever we are having a meeting or a workshop to update our, our curriculum then maybe we can invite you also to be there. there. So, so that, that you can, can give your inputs, inputs. and uh, at that time only we can uh, finalize the curriculum including your whatever you have to offer. Sure, sure. Now definitely I am going to share with you what we have, we are doing with uh, the polytechnics here in Karnataka. Same, same thing we are actually replicating in Maharashtra as well So and Uttar Pradesh so that it will give you a good starting point which you can discuss with your commissioner. Then we will be very happy to join those meetings whenever you invite us. Just uh, to set the expectation right, uh, we, we can give inputs in any of the, if it is technology, 
any of the computer IT and IT enabled services related courses because that's where our specialty is. We might not have experts in civil subjects or mechanical etc. So that's one, one uh, thing which you can make, keep in mind. Another thing is, uh, uh, yes, uh, definitely we, we, we will be uh, able to help you in, in uh, yeah, similar invitation we got from state of Maharashtra and anyway Karnataka we have already done that. I will share with you what we have done. What about softwares like uh, StatPro and SNIS? Do you give those kind of uh, trainings also? No, any generic and popular ones, any open source, for example, we have more than 20 playgrounds. Let me bring that up. Yeah, as you can see, these are industry standard uh, technologies. For example, uh, we have uh, big data. Big data means it involves some six, seven technologies under big data. Then we have Adobe Experience Manager, then JMeter. So like that, we have more than 20 playground. So if there is anything specific, and also even in mechanical, we use AutoCAD and CATIA and all those things, uh, basically courses are available. So yeah, if you have anything, anything other than this, which is being taught in polytechnics, please let us know. We will explore. And also if, if the demand is high, probably when we are refreshing the content next time, because every year they will refresh the content. So next time we will consider your request as well. So that's another opportunity which we can look at. Okay, okay that's, that's great. great. Yeah, please share whatever your needs and number of students who will basically as long as it is digital and uh, we will be happy to uh, support. But if it is pure, uh, very expensive commercial, then we might not be able to do it because then they will usually the commercial products, they will charge per uh, user license that will become very expensive. Otherwise, what about uh, MATLAB? MATLAB, uh, I have to check MATLAB since it's a popular one. I'm sure it will be there. I, I will check and get back MATLAB. However, we have R and other uh, interesting uh, data analytics uh, algorithms. So, which, which is used uh, for machine learning, etc. So, MATLAB should be there. I will just check and get back, sir, madam. Any other questions? Yeah, MATLAB. Uh, no, uh, MATLAB we have, you can see. Okay, okay. Great, great, great. Yeah. MATLAB crash course. Yes, programming. Yeah, a lot of content is there. So like this, uh, yeah, wherever you have in doubt, you can just log in and check because we have more than 12,000 courses, more than 1.2 lakh resources. I'm sure it might be there. Yeah, next I will switch over to what we are doing with uh, the polytechnics here. So this is what the uh, microsite which we have created for Department of Technical Education here in Government of Karnataka. So same thing we will be have, we will be doing for government your department Assam as well. So as you can see here on the right side, uh, what you see this uh, square here. Once you click, this will become your favorite. Okay, unfollowed. I have made now. I'll make it favorite. That means it will appear in my uh, home page as well, so that I need not search every time I come in. So this is just the landing page with picture and banner so that you, it is obviously uh, give branding to your department. Then if you just scroll down, then yeah, your leadership, uh, honorable minister and uh, the, the commissioners, all their photographs can come here. Then here the diploma in computer science, yeah, we can have like this uh, computer science separately, electronics separately. So depending on how many branches you want to curate the content you can have it like this either in the in the menu on the top or menu below I will just show you then what is that emphasis and uh, DTE how we are working so this is a brief explanation so that your faculty and students also will know why we are doing means it is uh, uh, so that they will also get a message that they, we are the authorized uh, partners of uh, government of Assam so that that's what uh, the credibility this will bring in then uh, here we, we had uh, also given an option to switch to uh, local language so we can uh, if you provide uh, the, trans the, the translations we can quickly because this pure HTML we can also provide in Assamese as well so we can work with your team if you have the language experts but since we don't have Assamese uh, experts with us so that, that's another option which if you want to do it 100% you can make it switch switchable like in a click of a button so that's another thing 
So if you come down, then uh, we, we are also giving high level detail instructions. Again, this is free, free text. Depending on the level of your students, you can uh, uh, give as much or as little as possible or you can also give additional videos, additional uh, pages which they can click and go. So then video proctored certification we also offer. Then this is by default all uh, emphasis uh, offered certifications will be available. And course completion certificate of course uh, even in, in the course era when we bring in content from uh, across universities across the globe then they will get course completion certificate from respective universities. However, the proctored certification that is the examination uh, certification will be uh, given only by Infosys as of now. And if your department would like to host any certificate, you would be more, you are more welcome to do it. For example, government of Maharashtra has recently hosted eight courses with about 800 resources. It was exclusively created by them and they have protected and made it available to all faculty. One lakh faculty have recently learned and got certified. So that's how the government of Maharashtra is using. So you are, you are most welcome to leverage that. And we will be more than happy to run a session on what are the best practices of creating the digital content. That's what we did with the uh, uh, government of Maharashtra and Karnataka. Then here is the curriculum. This is mapped as per the curriculum. It means you can see the buttons here. Once you click first semester, again you can see the, the two skills and the related courses which will come here. Similarly, second semester or third semester. Once you click on Python, then the Python courses will come. Once you click on database, database courses will come. So here, these are all curated, mapped and this is made mandatory in all 72 polytechnics of uh, government of Karnataka colleges. So similar, you can take the template to start with. If you feel something is relevant, you can keep it. If it is not relevant, you can it is just a click, click of a button to remove it and bring in a new course here. And there is no limit. You can update it anytime you want. We will give the uh, authoring access so that your team can do it. Initially, of course, uh, our team will sit with your experts, your professors, and we can design this, uh, curate this course, and you can design and launch it. So this is how uh, step by step you can build for each semester. There is no limit. And uh, actually, what we are going to do this, we are going to enhance in another two weeks. Uh, you, you can also uh, uh, see that we are going to make this as a standard launch pad for all the colleges, whether it's engineering or uh, polytechnic, uh, or BA, BSc, BCom uh, means uh, government first grade colleges. So what we will do is we, here instead of directly going to diploma, there will be one more selection here. Uh, for example, let's just in your context, let's discuss only engineering and polytechnic. So depending on if they are polytechnic, they can just click polytechnic and polytechnic semesters will open up. Similar engineering, engineering semesters. So like that we can, we can do it. Or if you want to have an, a dedicated a microsite for polytechnic and one dedicated for engineering that's also possible it's uh, it's just another uh, we can make a clone and make use of it so this is how the content is curated and made available seamlessly uh, with all the contact information you can also bring in a discussion forum chat everything in the same page and another good point is you will also get to see how many of your students are using it in here itself for example, good to see 572, even though this was just launched a week ago, already 572 people have started using it. And you will also get to see how many are using every day. This is daily statistics. Then uh, this here is the daily statistic. Then by city, which city of Assam they are using it. Then by what device they are using it. So this is the summary analytics. Then you will also get your college level uh, analytics. Before I go, I, I will let me just pause here to see any questions in this microsite for uh, the polytechnic which I just showed. Any questions, uh, Indrani ma'am? Uh, these uh, semester syllabus that you have case shown, it is their uh, directorate technical education, their syllabus, right? Yes, yes. It is, this so, is uh, Polytechnic of Karnataka. Okay. So that means whatever subjects that we are offering, the teachers can collaborate with you and give a digital uh, content of their lectures. 
Yes, yes. In fact, uh, they need not have to give it to us. Let me just show you how easy to author it. We will give authoring access to your uh, uh, your lecturers. So let me just bring that quickly. If, for example, this create option will will be given to them. So once you click click create, it, this is as good as up uploading a YouTube video. As you can see, create create upload a content. Once you create then it will ask which language you can if you want english or assamese you can bring it okay so uh, assuming it's assamese then once you proceed then you you can just drag and drop here once you drag and drop uh, maximum up to 1 gb we are going to uh, video size can be up to 1 gb if it is any other file uh, like html or pdf etc up to 500 mb so it's as simple as this madam okay <laughs> So, any other question on uh, the cur curriculum or content? Uh, not as of now. Like uh, whatever teacher details that we have uh, sent you in the Excel files, yeah. shared with you. So these uh, teachers will get an email as soon as you give them a login password, right? Yes, yes. The right password, yes. So after that, they can explore by themselves. Yes, yes, and you can share this video to them so that they yes. can also know what to explore yes okay now let me show next interest interesting part which is the telemetry where each of the students uh, teacher would like to know how their students are learning now let me pick up one university called chandigarh university which happens to be one of the top consumers uh, chandigarh university have uh, has registered 9900 students this is just one university and 6600 of them are learning so regularly so good to see uh, almost 67 percent of them have started learning and this is when they are coming and the registration happened in started in august and by october it, it started peaking the number of students who are learning that's good to see and you will also get to see this is visible to all the professors of that college so again it goes through one authorization which uh, the head of uh, university has to send an email to us to give access so now you can see six o'clock in the morning is the peak in chandigarh means this trend we saw across all the colleges and evening four o'clock and five o'clock then slowly it tapers down that means this is a clear indication that it's very much relevant and they are consuming during the their active uh, hours of the day so earlier we were thought uh, since it is they, they might pursue this as outside curriculum they might see it only in the weekends but to our pleasant surprise, they are consuming every day, Sunday to Saturday. Every day they are consuming it. And you can see all the color codes. It is almost similar every day. That means same people are coming uh, every day. So that's a good. And also you can see here average learning time. So as you can see, 140 minutes, more than two hours per user per day. So they, again, this is just one university. So this gives again once you uh, once they find the content relevant, once they uh, once it is prescribed by their own professors and college, this is what uh, the, the interesting change which you will see. So the, these these are the content which is consumed on their own, and uh, uh, there is no uh, out of their own will they are doing it. Then similarly, what are the weekly and monthly how how it is progressing? Good to see month after month and already in November uh, it is uh, 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 it has come up to the October level st still we are in the early November number four so good to see that it, it, it is uh, going uh, in, uh, in similar trend is continuing now that we are also introducing more and more interesting content from Coursera and other entities and we have brought in also guided projects which your students would love it 500 guided projects we have introduce which is nothing but like how i am explaining today to you we have one expert explaining in, in the video will be divided into two portions left side video will be running uh, right side we, they will get the uh, environment to practice then and there so like that we have 500 of them so all of them can be actually curated and made available on the microsite which your students can make use of it so like this this is the summary info which each and every college will get and in addition, they can also download the reports into an Excel like this. That means uh, uh, the, by name, that means uh, the entire Chandigarh University, uh, which I just showed, that means the professor, once we give access, they can download 
and they will get to see who are my top learners or who are the bottom 20 whom I need to take additional sessions or uh, clarifications. So that, that, that is what uh, this uh, data will be useful and this is just one of them because we have several about 20 more digital tools which any professor can use to actively engage your students. For example, we also have anonymous polls they can do similar to if you have used uh, Kahoot or any uh, or you can see popular Kaunbarne Karodpati audience poll. So like that we have an option to do live quizzes without basically them revealing their names they can participate anonymously and we have seen such tools are extremely popular and participation percentage goes more than 99 percent because they will be more than happy to share uh, because initially they, there will be some inhibition on everybody if they are not sure they will not uh, uh, respond but after a while they, they would like love to be in top five that's what we have seen so that is another very exciting feature which which they can uh, basically which all the professors can make use of it so any questions ma'am uh, not as of now, you can continue, but uh, one thing, uh, this kind of a dashboard will be available to us also, I mean, we will yes, also... Yes, yes, that's what I'm showing. Yes, yes, this will be, I will show what is available you as a state, uh, just to give this numbers, number of course which is completed, 238,000 people have completed. So that shows the popularity of the courses, what they are, and we also have popular content, okay. So now we can see some interesting uh, distribution here. Let it come up. So while this comes up, let me just open another uh, window. So that I want to show you the customizable dashboards with map what we give. For example, we have the same, uh, let me go to telemetry. In dashboards, okay, now let me just take, uh, uh, let's say Karna or Maharashtra. So like this you will get uh, once you start do the complete the registration we will give you a sum map uh, for you to your department so you will have you will get the district view like this then actually you can there is no limit uh, as you can see there are various options which we will allow uh, where you can add filter you can have uh, your own uh, 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 map chart pie chart bar chart uh, so you can even drill down and get to see what each district has uh, and you can get to the other level which, which is the detail level which I showed at the college level. So you will get all the slice and dice. Good part is we would like to eliminate the necessity for downloading this excel report because excel however it is for example now in the same report you can see I am monitoring two parameters registered data users and logged in users. So because as a state level entity you are not actually interested might not be interested in what individual student are doing probably you will be looking at the trend which is popular which state is lagging and which which state is uh, which district is leading so that you can focus on entire state especially tier 3 tier 4 uh, districts where which are very remote if you want to see the consumption and you can do that so you can see here also even in maharashtra even Maharashtra interestingly happens to be the highest number of students more than 17 lakhs have come in and here also you can see some of the uh, states like Pune they have more than 2 lakh students whereas uh, the remote uh, uh, Gondia has 6400 so this being the head of uh, the DCT in Maharashtra I am sure they, they would be curious to know is there any issue is there any challenge for example some of the larger cities uh, still uh, there is a number uh, lesser number so they can do that then this is the logged in users one is registration so registration will happen anyway mechanically you will share the data we will do it then afterwards if people are not logging in so there is a huge difference here also you can see so then this is also gives then you can take action 
you can immediately alert uh, the respective district in charge if something is not moving or user accessing content so like this uh, any slice and dice you can do it and and if you want to do any further analysis and if you want our inputs we will be more than happy to do it uh, Naveen who, who is here today he has an, an entire team dedicated for uh, basically taking care of uh, all the queries uh, which, which are coming from the education department so any questions on the dashboard madam uh, you, you had, had mentioned, mentioned mentoring, mentoring also, also. Yeah. so how, how do you, do you go, go about, about the mentoring, mentoring procedure, procedure? Yeah, for example, the, this is offered as part of the internship. Let me bring up quickly internship. So this is how we provide. How we, if you, you can also log in and get into more details. We have given all the details of how, how, what is that eligibility criteria, selection criteria, how does it work. This is the for the last cohort. Now very soon we will refresh this and create another one for the next one which will start in November. So here we publish a, calendar, a list of projects. Imagine your students will pick up uh, the first one. Okay, now new projects have come in. Now, uh, interestingly, the first one, which I am the mentor, uh, architecting, architecting software project. So uh, already three people have chosen it. Now uh, we are expecting about three teams to pick up this project. We just uh, opened it up yesterday. Uh, good to see already about three people have liked it. Now imagine in a month's time, we will have uh, in our experience, uh, more than 100 or 200 will, will uh, apply for this. So we will shortlist about three teams. So all the 15 people I will be mentoring, at, at basically I will call each project, um, it, depending on the need, once in two weeks or once in a month, we will meet them. So interestingly, the, the which, in whichever state we are, if they are available, if they are ready to travel, we will be more than happy to meet them in person. Otherwise all the mentoring will happen through like uh, any uh, uh, online session like this. So this is how it will be madam. For example, yes, mentoring will happen at the project level. Okay. okay. And in addition, if they still have any question, we have, for example, every, uh, every course has a discussion forum. For example, even in the la la latest forums, uh, uh, we are also uh, basically creating some of the knowledge boards where to encourage the discussion and you can see uh, what, uh, it, it, it's a robots or any, anything so then at each course level there is a discussion forum where they can ask question and one of us will respond and we also at the right bottom you see one uh, bubble here this is our uh, basically uh, our uh, AI powered chatbot so you can choose your avatar then you can ask uh, 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 I want to learn Python so like this, they can, you can, they can ask question and this is not just a plain simple text. Uh, they, they can ask any question, okay? And interestingly, this will uh, uh, give the response both in the vo uh, uh, voice assisted if they want, otherwise uh, you know, they, they, it will also give the text based. And interestingly, it has capability to even- I am trying to update, to update my, my knowledge, knowledge base. base. Currently, Currently I-, I Okay. Then you can, you, it can also offer the quizzes, means you can take the quizzes, uh, 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 for example, if you are traveling with a headphone in a train, you want to just respond to a quiz, if you want to productively use even those capabilities. I am trying, trying to, update to update my knowledge base. Currently, Currently I, couldn't I couldn't find, find anything, anything related to your query. So can like you rephrase your can query? Do. Okay, so th that's an, uh, another option which they can, uh, means uh, in, in addition to the re uh, real life uh, actual mentors we also provide chat facilities let me bring up uh, the chat for example each of these uh, large ex we call this uh, expert series we had done expert series for uh, uh, let me just bring up python so the, for example th these are the plans uh, where we, we, this is a seven week long a Python course which uh, I had also taken some sessions as you can see in the home you can see who are all the experts uh, who, who have taken these sessions so and what is Python all these instructions are there in addition we also offer chat facility okay so these chats will uh, will remain question to educators they can ask uh, the questions to us directly okay uh, then uh, we will respond to it and this will be retained forever.
okay then and also we also offer the recordings here as you can see all the recordings we have uh, uh, restored uh, means stored so that they can come back and see whenever they want and also you can see how how popular it is uh, it, 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 it this also has the analytics here this is one of the most popular courses we offered uh, just about three quarters ago 12000 people have uh, unique users have uh, have registered and made use of from various cities across india so like this we we try and ensure that we are able to provide expert support at scale i, I hope i have answered the question ma'am so any other questions madam this is what i wanted to share in brief in addition we also have very detailed uh, two days uh, faculty enablement program which we have conducted and we have recorded i will share that recording as well madam you are muted if you can uh, unmute uh -huh. and what i'll do is i will contact the uh, faculties of the institutes sure and, and uh, find, find out, out which day is convenient for them, them. Yeah. and maybe they can they join can in for uh, faculty and program that you have said so they can also join directly yeah what we will do is uh, because this faculty enablement program is a calendared event for us so we uh, uh, then we will keep publishing when is the next one which is happening for example even in, in november very soon in another two weeks uh, some of the deep dive faculty enablement program is happening on some of the technologies we will share those calendar as well so that uh, the, the interested students can make use of it however the first process first step to all these things is uh, the bulk registration so which nandini and, and judy who are helping you so uh, yeah let's uh, on a war footing on a high priority let's complete uh, the registration process then subsequently whatever we are doing for the platform for all the faculty enablement i am sure it will be very, very beneficial to your faculty as well yes, yes once, once uh, the, the registration, registration is complete, complete you kindly let, let me know, know. And, and then, then after, after that, that uh, the date the, the schedule date when you have your, your uh, calendar, calendar program, program on faculty enablement, enablement. So, so once, once that, that is known, known let them also, also explore in the meantime so they have so that they have their questions ready for you and I think that will be a good idea. That's how we can proceed. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we can stop it. Thank you very much.